call their sound indie rock experimental and say you just may want to sing along with their toe-tapping tunes. We're going to find out right now. Ice Station Zebra is in studio with us today. Take it away, guys. Thank you very much. So, Jesse, why don't you introduce us to the rest of the band? Okay, on uh, lead guitar is uh, Justin Kizinger, or Chico as we call him. Then we've got uh, Chuck on drums and Dave, or Smiley, on the bass. <laughs> uh, quite a bit, few of the band members have nicknames, so. <laughs> very nice. We like that. Yeah. You spend a lot of time together. You're based out of Grand Haven. Yes. You're part of Walk the Beat. Why did you want to be a part of this event? Because it is kind of debuting for the first time this weekend. Yes. Um, well, they did have something uh, last year with it, and uh, we've always been close to Dave, and we were really excited to meet Dave and um, get with him. We've been on his radio show, and it, it's a really cool thing to be part of. Um, yeah, and it's supposed to be beautiful this weekend, so it's going to be a wonderful celebration of music out on the yes. lake shore. Yes, we're excited. We really are. We've been, we've been trying to promote as much as we can and get the word out. Yeah, <laughs> so. so tell people where you're going to be because you have a couple different times that you're playing in Grand yes, Haven. Uh, we're playing at the Clover Bar. Um, it's right on Beacon? Beach Street. Beach Street. Beach. Beach Street. Street. Yes, it's on Beach Street across from the Highway Inn. Uh, they've got shows at Highway Inn as well, but we're at the Clover Bar between uh, 2 and 3 and 4 and 5. So uh, in between there, we've got a solo artist. Um, what is John Merchant. 
Very nice. Yes. And if you've never been to Clover Bar, it is one of the best places to get pizza in Grand Haven. It is. People it should is. know that when they come <laughs> out, too. I want to ask you a little bit about your music. Okay. Because it seems that you draw from different inspirations. Yes. When I heard you start singing, I even, you know, felt a little bit about some of those kind of like alternative vibes that yes. you hear a little bit in your music, too. Um, as far as, like, inspiration, we are so well-rounded, I think. Um, uh, <laughs> these guys are a lot of rush, and I'm, I'm not very so much rush, but uh, as far as, like, inspiration, a lot of indie, a lot of alternative, um, got a lot of, uh, gosh, there's some country in there, a lot of classic rock. Most, I'd say a lot of classic rock, mostly classic rock. Very nice. So, do 70s. You, <laughs> how do you come together to collaborate when you have so many different types of musical interests, when you kind of decide on a song and you're writing lyrics and kind of putting, you know, the music to it that's going to make an appealing Actually, sound? I, well, I kind of write it backwards. I write the, the lyrics after we write the song, but... Uh, Chico and I, it's just, Justin and I are typically the um, songwriters. Um, Dave's written a few as well. And, uh, like, he'll come to me with something, and I'll write lyrics to it, and I'll come to him with something. That's kind of how we differentiate differentiate our sound. Um, yeah. We've got a bunch of different inspirations, so it's kind of neat. It keeps it well-rounded. and yeah. yeah. The sound is unique, but I think what is super unique is your name. Uh, yes, uh, the name, yes. <laughs> you must get a lot of people that ask you about your name. Uh, the younger crowd, yes. As far as the older crowd, they're all saying, you know that was a movie, right? It was an old uh, submarine movie. Oh, um, I Rock see. Hudson, I, I didn't know yes. that. Yes. Really? Rock, yeah. Okay. It was uh, really the, unique. Yep. Yeah, and... Uh, yeah, we're we're like oh, well, uh, we we got a lot of the a lot of the older crowd comes up to us and says and acts like we don't know, but <laughs> <laughs> you were like, of course yes, we, we know, yes. we know. And how is it being out on the lakeshore too, where you have a lot of gigs? Of course, that's where you're based and you play a lot, and that is the place to be when it comes to summer and this time of year. It does, and uh, um, we have played a few times this year. Uh, we've been mostly recording, um, so we're really excited to get for for next year because we're, we're finishing up a record we're almost done we're about, probably about a month left and then okay. then we'll be doing most of our shows but we've been playing here and there but the lakeshore is a perfect place it really is nice it is beautiful um, and we get a lot of uh outdoor gigs we get a lot of indoor gigs uh the downtown grand haven has treated us pretty well so in mm -hmm. whatever bands we've been in we've been in quite a few bands too. so how could people get their hands on your latest project if you're interested you said about a month and yes is uh, it website facebook page we, we've primarily primarily been using our facebook page um for most news and stuff like that uh we also use uh, uh band camp uh which with band camp I, I i don't know the exact address is it bandcamp.com slash uh ice station zebra i think uh but as far as that goes they can just download songs right now we've got free downloads on there and that's great that aren't final mixes but yeah. yeah well thank you for stopping by the studio we thank want to remind everyone thank you clover bar grand haven saturday yeah. afternoon what are the times again two to three and four to five uh it goes from one one till five yeah so john merchant is playing at one so yes. many great acts that are going to be in grand haven as part of walk the beat this weekend will you guys play us out to break i shall we shall <laughs>